but it doesn't sound like clapping. It's an X-rated podcast. It sounds like Rambo. Down with the kids. Down with Harambe. Just do it. That's great. <laughs> we, we began. We began. It's, it's been a while, Jade. It's been a while. And I feel like every time we open one of these, it's like, oh, and it's been a year. Maybe it should be like a quarterly podcast. <laughs> quarterly podcasts. <laughs> you get four podcasts a year. That's your lot. Oh, yeah. that's, that's quite sad. <laughs> no, we're back again. Back with a vengeance. And, Lauren's uh, got a cool mic. I've got a cool mic. I've got two microphones. I'm still on my old Kraken headset. Did you say Kraken? Like a Kraken from the seas? I'm on my little Razer headset because I'm a little fangirl with my £50 headset. £50? Holy shit. <laughs> £50 for a headset? It's green and has a little snake on it. That's Why pretty... else do you buy Razer products? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It just looks cool in selfies. Now I'm joking. I actually really like the brand. And um, <laughs> do you? Yeah, they they have good sound, but just not obviously for podcasting. Um. Anyway, I'm rambling. We're back to talk about stuff. We let's, are. Let's let's level up episode four, four or three. <laughs> Probably three. <laughs> Probably three. Or Probably four. three. So it's one of those, I'll probably find the title after this. I need to find the music again. Oh, it's going to be magical. It's just... <laughs> it's good. You love it. It's I good. promise it's going to be regular. And um, I just dropped my pen. Oh, um, at least you didn't drop my my donuts. <laughs> Do you know what's really funny? I had donuts today. I bought, we bought some donuts from Tesco. They were 30p. <gasps> oh my gosh, so did I. Wait, were they chocolate ones? No, they were strawberry ones. They were oh. 30p, they were on offer, and it was a bad choice. It was oh. a bad purchase for 30p, so... Oh, that's I mean, just... That's is, it, is it too cheap to take something back for 30p? A little bit. Actually, I saw something well cheeky in Tesco's. Mm. Okay, like, there was some guy that, like, paid... And you know when, like, it gives change? Before, yeah. like, he he went and he just left the change to, like, come out. But then the next person, I was like, if it was me and there was loads of change left, I'd just leave it there and not take it. The next person in line grabbed all the change, grabbed their change. I was like, wow, you must really need the pennies. Um, how much change was there? There was like, <laughs> I was like, there two like pennies. Re- uh, I don't know. I think I'd take the change. Would you? Like, if it was like a few 20 peas, would you be like, oh, I'll be taking that? Yeah. <laughs> Discuss. Would you take the change? Maybe that could be the episode headline. <laughs> no, like completely ungaming rel- relevant. <laughs> like, would you take the change in Tesco? I don't know. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Like, it's it's awkward. Um, yeah, because people see you, and I just looked at him, and he looked at me, and I was like, I know what you're doing. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's a bit weird. Yeah, I'd leave it, you know, or take it, donate it to a homeless. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, if it was me, I'd like grab the box. You know, the little charity boxes and just throw loads of it in but uh, that i do we're nice people yeah um we say oh well talking about nice people and i don't know how that links at all uh we're gonna be talking about resident evil <laughs> nice people <laughs> <laughs> not nice people in resident evil let me tell you not nice people so massive we're, we're both massive fans of the um of the franchise aren't we yes um I haven't played seven yet because I'm in the middle of another game, but I do really want it. Um, Lauren, have you you played it? Haven't you? Uh, I I've watched people play it because <laughs> I can't afford oh, man. it. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're, we're in the same position. So really, I think from what I've seen of this game, really has brought the franchise back from the the awfulness. Is that a word? That was six. Awfulness. Yeah awfulness I, I i hated six i i did you play six i once again i i watch people play games because i can't afford them yeah i did watch it and it wasn't like <laughs> this is like a let's play let's play podcast a let's like play it. let's play but 
no, that's that's fine. With with story games, it's very much. But six was basically the the the, the manic the um the game mechanics were so different, and it just wasn't it wasn't scary. It wasn't like a survival. It was rubbish. And then this came out, and I'm like, oh, this is this is this is what Resident Evil is. Um. So yeah, it looks I've, amazing. I've seen some of the gameplay, and I don't know. I don't want to give too much away, but it's interesting. They've what they've done is they've kind of spliced together Resident Evil, but they've spliced together like Outlast. Ooh, yeah. Oh, lots of people do say that. Um... So it depends how you feel about that, but like based on how like your experiences with playing the game, I want I yeah. want to see what like how you feel after playing the game and like. Because I love the classic or original ones on the PlayStation and when I was a little kid and I was like, oh my god, zombies. Yeah. Did you, what was it, Resident Evil 1? I think it was number two. Okay, this is, I always just remember this scene and I watched it ages ago and I've forgotten its name again. But it always starts, you start and you go to like this uh, police kind of, a uh, police station. Mm. And then you're walking around in the police station and stuff and you're trying to find stuff and... There's this corridor you go down and something tries to grab you and then there's a liquor that's on the on the ceiling. No, I think that's Resident Evil 2. Maybe. It is. I think it's... I've just had a Google because I didn't... I can't remember the early ones. I'm massive, massive fans of Resident Evil 4 and 5, but... Oh, that was Resident Evil Raccoon City? Yeah. Resident yeah. Evil 2? Yes. Yes, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, it was a really fun really scary terrifying game that i played and uh was freaked out by yeah <laughs> yeah i remember yeah resident evil 4 was like one of the first scary games for me well was it yeah one of <laughs> bar dino crisis because i was sick um <laughs> but um yeah resident evil 4 i remember from different games because with resident evil you couldn't shoot and move at the same time. Okay. And that that game dynamic, I was just like, this is really different, and the zombies and everything. And bar, well, this and Silent Hill, I was just like, these are great. I love these. The like the storyline, the character development, these are great. Um, but yeah, seven seven does re- like so seven does seem really similar to um, Outlast and other games. But I'm glad I think they're back on what their franchise is known for, which is just a really good survival horror um and also the vr aspect now um unfortunately i don't have a vr headset because i'm not rich yet but i do i do i do <laughs> plan on getting one there's just it's such an expenditure and i have quite a small flat so um probably wouldn't work but the um, thing is that that is amazing transition well done jade i don't yeah. even think you know about that what you just did i transitioned and into, I meant to transition. Yeah, you transitioned into e- EGX. EGX, yes. EXG, EXG. E- EGX, EXG, me, 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 me. So we're going to our first little little event. Little event together. Is anyone going? Apparently it's the UK's biggest gaming event. But I don't know whether that's the Birmingham one. Yeah, I think I- I'm not too sure what to expect, really. But I, I've been looking at trailers and there's VR systems there that you can play on. Ooh, so that'll be good. I've done quite a few demos, and I just really want one. I want one so bad. I've never played on one before. I just, I just wanna. <gasps> I know. That would be interesting. I'm, but, a, um... I'm an Oculus Rift virgin. Oh my god, we need to break your virgin. But <laughs> um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Like just a proper like I love conventions, nerd. Um, but just like a proper. I've always just wanted to go to a proper um, just actual game. Yeah, you've been to. I remember seeing pictures of you at a convention in cosplay because I stalked you, and uh, I think that was a few years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, quite a few. But yeah, it's always been like Comic Con or like Film Con. So like, but I just I'd rather just go to a pure games one. So I think this is the first pure games one that I've been to. So it'll be good to look at like all the indie games and stuff, Gotta and just play in. games, and just even listen to like what developers are doing and well i've seeing, i've so. got a secret for you um some people that i did a voice for for a game are gonna be there 
Ooh, so, what is this? this Please is, speak more. I believe they are going to be there. I don't want to double... Sh I think they are. I swear to God they are going to be there. Uh, it's a game called Pandora, and I just <clears> did some voice for it. And it's it's kind of in... It's kind of They're still testing stuff at the moment, but I believe they're going to be there. So we can go find them and be like, oh, hi, I'm the person that voices that character. Tell us more about Pandora. Are you allowed to say, or...? Not... All I'm allowed to say Are is... Are you I under a... an NDA, or...? I'm not under an NDA, but they're like, can you keep things private, please? And I was like, oh, okay, then, okay. But, yeah. Uh -oh. I'm a... Yeah, I mean, that's... It should be very interesting. That would be super fun. Um, mm, very and, exciting. And we, I am... And you, I hope so, are going to cosplay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like... No, I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, yeah... I, I haven't got any ideas though. That's the only thing. Like Lauren's already kind of got the best card, which is obviously like the new Tomb Raider, um, mm -hmm. the sexy Lara Croft with the cargo pants. Yes. Um, maybe I could be. Um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I could be Nathan Drake. We could go as like a, a couple. couple. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be so good. We should do it. Maybe I could be like. Nathan Drake female cosplay. Maybe I could try it. I we think could, yeah. I think Jess, Jessica did it. Jessica Negri did it. Maybe <laughs> I can try it. Negri, she did it. There's yeah. so uh, many. Yeah, we could actually look at ideas and stuff because that'd be pretty cool. I googled it just now. <laughs> Have you apparently, already googled it? <laughs> yeah. Apparently, it's quite a common thing. Um, apparently, it's totally acceptable to do female version. So. That could be pretty cool. Maybe we should actually do that. All jokes aside, that would be pretty funny. <laughs> I I think we should. I really think we should. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's do that. We could do that. Let's do that. That would be funny. Um, okay. that would be pretty funny for photos as well. Um, yes. Because I'll be like, yes, yes, she's a lady. Why are you classing her gender? Stop it. <laughs> yeah. Mm mm. Lens neutral, but um. Yeah, so that would be fun. Oh, I like didn't even think of this idea, and just randomly was like, "Yeah, you just kind of went with that." I'm gonna write that down for you in case you're like, well, "Who is that gonna?" Who's I'm like, what, "What? What? What idea did you have?" No, that, I think that could look pretty cool. Um, haven't been before. Don't know if it's the norm to go and cosplay. Did go on the website. Apparently, they have cosplay awards. Oh, so maybe. So I'm pretty sure that it is a thing that people do go to. Um, and I think with those things, people use it as any excuse to go, don't they? Yeah, I mean, like, you know you're going to get the people that are an amazing at cosplay there. You know that you're going to get the ones that are, like, d fully dressed, like... Well, obviously people are going to be dressed there. <laughs> I don't mean, like, naked people. Everyone's going to be there <laughs> naked. Well, <laughs> that's why it's so expensive. <laughs> that's why we're going. <laughs> that's why we're going. It's actually um, a swingers party. <laughs> Well, you heard it here first. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's not. But no, it'll be fun. It's the first one that I'm going to, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And it'll be good to know some new things. Um, completely, well, kind of irrelevant is that E3 also have done the... Um, they're actually open to consumer tickets this year. Ooh. Um, absolutely, we'd love to go, but it's not here. Where it's is it? The, it's not in this country. It's um, it's in LA. Oh, like all the but, Twitch cons uh, and all the packs and yeah, the ones that I would cry inside. Yeah, I'd love to go to E3, but yeah, it's the first year that they're actually letting consumers buy tickets, which I don't, I don't know why. I mean, it's good. I think consumers should be allowed, but I have no idea what they'll be priced at. Um, apparently they're out Monday, so I'll have a look to see how much they are, just <laughs> out of interest. I won't go because I can't afford it unless anyone wants to take me. Then I'll come, but. Yeah, if I'm I'm really rich, we should both go. I'm just, yeah, I'm just that would be awesome though. Just like a full weekend of these are the games that are coming out. Like just just being there in within the you know the yeah. presence of the game developers. Yeah, that would be cool. I mean, some people's nightmare are like, oh my god, we want to be in there, which would be cool. Be but in. yeah, it's just cool. I'm I'm just sat there like on. Like on Google, like Googling whenever it comes out, like E3 releases, like just every time, like IGN update. Yeah. So it'd be it'd be cool to actually go and see what's going on. Ten out of ten, I 
G-N. If I knew how to sound edit, then I'd put like a little tumbleweed. I, I, I know you were going to do that. It's like, it's like let's, just, let's just be silent. It's okay. It's fine. That's, that's shush. But no, that, that will be really fun. Um, and, and again, just to see everything. But yeah, I mean, apart from that, I mean, we've waffled on. We do love a good waffle. We've I mean, what, what have we actually been playing recently? This is supposed to be a gaming podcast. And we're speaking uh, about Tesco and rubbish. No, I'm joking. It's we, good. It's all good. Uh, we're talking about developers and games, kind of. We are. It's kind of linked. It's fun. Ah, uh, the game I'm playing at the moment is Space Engineers, which is an open world. You basically make you're in space, obviously, and then you make really your kind of yeah, yeah. Actually, no, no, no. You're, you're in China, really. It's all just a, an illusion. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> You have to make your own kind of spacecraft and build things and take things apart. It's like a kind of survival game. What No Man's Sky should have been. Yes. <laughs> exactly like that. Ooh. Okay. So it's what? quite fun. You can play with uh, a few people, I think. Okay. And I'm w- playing... What do you do then? You literally just kind of like build ships and just travel, really, and try to survive and try to sustain, like, like, like you know... Uh, energy so you and actually stuff. build ships yeah you build ships okay that's like, that's cool you like can build but... any ship you want from scratch and like just just dig and mine and stuff and all that kind of thing mm. so how, hmm? how um how much is it i was bought it by paul um <laughs> let me check how much it is no, oh, it's fine i'll go on store just so we know how much it is um 20 oh, okay 19 pound w- what would you rate it out of 10 Ooh, i'd say there's still a lot they need to add so i'll probably give it a seven and a half okay is is it still beta is it yeah yeah how far is beta maybe <laughs> well, i don't know i don't know i don't know, I don't know life <laughs> it, look, it, it it looks good beta it's in beta okay cool so you just build spaceships pilot ships go around space how would you die just because you mentioned the survival element um you have to keep uh basically harvesting uh, ice and stuff to get oxygen because you keep running out of like ice packs and stuff and you know the like the (sighs) packs not Darth Vader but you know the one (laughs) yeah okay cool so that's been like your game of the week yeah game of the yeah Game of the month, considering their regularity of these games. Yeah, game, game of the month. And all. Game of the quarter. <laughs> <laughs> How about um, you? What have you been up to, game wise? Me? Oh my god! Have th- this this podcast can't be long enough for me. Um, anyone listening? So the zero people. Um, not kidding. Um, I feel really bad because I've only just bought The Witcher Three, and I feel like I should have bought this years ago. Um, even though it was out like 2015 but I don't know how I missed this game I was really late on I love The Witcher 2 and I was just late like I was just so obsessed with other games I think Fallout came out and I was just Witcher 3 is amazing it's legit one of the best games I've played if not top 5 oh. one of my friends uh, Jacob he's totally into The Witcher as well he says it's an amazing game it's, it's beautiful, like, it's just a complete, for people who don't know, it's open world um, action game. It's absolutely stunning. The gameplay is amazing. You, the the storyline, uh, I, I can't fault it. I mean, there's a couple of bugs, but I just can't fault it. I don't like comparing it to other games, because I don't think it's fair. But if you're a fan of, like, Skyrim, Fallout, etc., then you'll love this game. Um... But yeah, I'm just, I'm in love with it. I've had it a week and I've already got like 24 hours playtime in it, so. Oh, that's where that picture was from on like Instagram. I swear you put some pictures of The Witcher up. Yeah, um, so like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I haven't left the house, but I've just been following Geralt with 
in this land and it's quite naughty as well this game i think it got quite a lot of press there's quite a lot of boobs in it it has sex in it oh if people are interested in that i'm not a teenage boy but still it's See, um is it like game of thrones kind of you know yeah it's just amazing and irrelevant to the game we're all relevant ever since i've started playing it i have really weird dreams okay <laughs> like really like i think it's because i play it at night and it's such an amazing universe and you're like fighting reefs and things and and then i go to bed and i'm having really vivid dreams like of like a different time and i think it's because i've been playing the witcher are you sure you're not in assassin's creed no, I don't know. But, like, seriously, ever since... If you want cool dreams, play The Witcher. Oh, I might have to buy it. But seriously, Lauren, if you ask me how I'd rate this game, it's going to be a rare. It's going to be a rare rating. What's it going to be? It's 10 out of 10. Really? It's 10 out of 10. Seriously, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. IGN. <laughs> 10 out of 10. IGN. Get me on. Listen. I can't fault this game, but, I mean, there's a couple of bugs, like, Roach, the horse, just never seems to be where you want him to be, but, um, apparently they kind of do, like, a fourth wall break in one of the expansion packs and kind of make a joke out of it, but, okay. yeah. Um, seriously, um, is it C, yeah, CG Project, I don't know how to pronounce that, Red, Hats Off, one of the best games I've played, Be- better than Fallout 4. Ah. Oh. oh. She went the Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so anyone I know who I haven't texted back, that's why. Cuz <laughs> cuz she's been playing that game. So, yeah, that's that's me. So, um, when you're not playing video games, do you watch people stream on Twitch? I do. I do. Um, I watch you. You're my fave. Ah. Oh. Um, Toxic X Valentine. Um, Ooh, <laughs> oh, <that. laughs> Ooh, oh, Um, to be, to be, I'm, I'm looking for people. I mean, to be fair, I, I probably, I am probably use YouTube more to, to watch playthroughs. Um, mm. I am a bit of a loser. I probably go to like the classics. Um, the classic big. Pull the pa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it's so marmite for people, but like, it's funny. It does what it says on the tin. Kind of, you know massive fan um but twitch I i'm still not converted to twitch like i feel like i might be once i have a proper setup but yeah whenever i search for gamers i don't know i'm not I'm not involved in the community well i'm gonna a... i'm gonna tell you some what kind of games yeah what kind of gamers do you do you search like females males mm, I, don't, see, I don't i don't mind um it's kind of don't want to annoy anyone but like i feel like for instance there was the new game what was it called i don't know how to pronounce it it's n-i-o-h no naya nor yeah and i really wanted to see playthroughs of this because i'm tempted to get it it's apparently like i've seen there's this guy on youtube that did a playthrough and i should know his name because he's one of my favorite youtubers Um, go. (laughs) <laughs> he does all the Dark Souls playthroughs. Vat Vidya. Oh, okay. Um he's, he's like he's he he does not not necessarily playthroughs, he he just breaks down games and does really amazing um just amazing content. That that's that's pretty awesome. Um I mean. yeah. So he'll look at the lore in games and do like a half an hour video about it. That's really cool. I think I've seen that before, actually. I will link you to him, because... But, um, anyway, he played it, and I really wanted to play it. But, yeah, I was going on Twitch, and just didn't... I don't know. I suppose... I suppose the difference is, is that on YouTube, you're looking at an edited video that people have found funny. Yeah, yeah. Like, they, they've, they've looked at it, they've got it all together, and they've made it funny for the audience, whereas Twitch is just someone playing a game. But I'm a struggle. I haven't found any characters, not characters, but you know, I suppose they are characters. People who I'm like, oh yeah, they're 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 amazing. I've I ever find people who are half clothed. Nothing wrong with that. Feminist, yeah, whatever. But <laughs> yeah, I just see you, uh, like waving a little a little flag going. No, yeah. seriously, if that's what people want to do, and if people want to subscribe, 
whatever. Like, I have no issues with that. But, like, I want to see content. Give me my content. Um, and just loads of people playing it. And, like, I don't know, not much personality. I mean, ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> not, not that I have much of a personality. I just play it and moan, so... But I suppose I just always go towards YouTube because they edit it, they make it nice. I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe if you have good Twitch streamers. <laughs> but yeah, just whenever I go on, I'm not captivated. I don't know. Oh, I just, I just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shots fired. I just like just go. Ooh, I felt the trigger myself then. Mm. Uh, I Triggered. <laughs> <laughs> triggered right now no it's not fair because i said do what you want and honestly do what you want me and lauren have got our bikini stream coming on later this year <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah joking. Joking. Like, you know like you know like bras and seriously. t-shirts and nothing and no seriously whatever i i know why people do it god i i go into an office every day jeez like <laughs> pay me no, i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Um. Uh, let's go on to some Twitches you might like. Yes. Uh, okay. So pen and pad. At uh, really. Pen and pad. Dan's gaming. Dan's gaming. He is really funny. Dark sense of humor, even though he's American. Oh. <laughs> Zing. Racist? I don't know. No, it's no. What? I mean, like Americans have a different sense of humor. Yeah, it's true. Some, some have, as like, in, a dry sense of humour. As, as in they can't take a joke? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, sweet lord. Oh, there's so many... F- no, no. I mean, some of them, like, oh, their humour's just a little bit different. Nah, I'm, I'm kidding. Like, I love I love my um, American friends, but yeah. It's the um, sarcasm. The sa- Yeah, sarcasm and just oh, dry apparently nose. Dan is playing Noyle. I don't know how to Noya. fucking announce it. Noyle right uh, now. Like, here's a clip of how he sounds. So he's playing it right now on on Twitch. Okay, cool. I'll I'll check him out. Try to stay on her ass. But he's he's great to watch. Um, Burke Black. He always dresses up as a pirate, or he streams a pirate on orientated. He is he has so much energy when he streams, like a crazy amount of energy. Like I'm talking, I don't know, five shots of caffeine, just crazy amount of energy. So he does. Um, a lot of them are doing. I never say this right, Cohen. Con- Conan. Cohen? Co- co- I say Cohen, but it's not meant to be that. I always get like told off for saying co- Cohen. Conan. Conan? I don't know. They're all playing that at the moment, so they're all doing their little RP of it. And who else? I'm trying to think. Uh, It's me, JP. It's me, JP. Mm-hmm. And Jeff Major. All these people pretty much stream. Uh, Dan streams every day. So he streams around our time, I think. He starts streaming at 6pm, and then he got, has a little break around 10. You can tell I watch lots of Dan, because I know like his entire schedule. You're like, what does he do on a Tuesday? Well, he does it's 7 till 11pm. 7 till 11pm. Well, I'll break. <laughs> and then he comes Okay, back. cool. I'll check these out. Um, if anyone knows any good Twitch streamers to convert me over to Twitch, please let me know. They shall convert you. Um, I do. I love the platform. I love everything it stands for. Um, absolutely love it. I'm just. I'll just always go to YouTube first. So. We will convert you to. You will come right aside. Um. So I looked at tickets as well. This is kind of gamish, really. Not really, because it's Star Wars, but it's still not Star relevant. Wars. Still okay. relevant. <laughs> tickets. Um, for the exhibition are twenty pound. Sweet. Yeah. Done, done. Let's do it. We're so, gonna go to another place. If we if we go, we should um we should. Oh, do you know what? I've got a rubbish video, but yeah, we should try and do a video. I want to get oh, more yeah. into the video. That's um, cool. I can I can bring my camera and we can do a podcast. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. let's do it. The last time um, I saw Jade, we were in the dark together. I don't know if she remembers. She should remember this. We're in the dark, screaming together. No, I saw you before then. I saw you... No, 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 yeah, yeah, you saw me on my birthday. Sorry. I saw you on your birthday. Before that, we, we went to London Dungeons, didn't we? Yeah, that was it. Then we were in the dark screaming, because we were, like, in Sweeney Todd. 
part. I was, of... I was, I was more scared than you. Oh my gosh! But we were it, both it was, a bit scared. It was really funny. Two very scared girls got went to London Dungeons and got picked on. I think a little bit. Oh, I think we got picked on by the actors because they thought it was funny because we were like, <laughs> ha, 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 let's go because we were trying to be brave and like let's go at the front. They're not gonna pick on us, and they did, and it was terrifying. There's a um, I don't want to spoil it for anyone that hasn't went to London Dungeons, but there's like a ride that you don't think is gonna be anything, and it actually <laughs> is. It's so it, terrifying. It's not good. It's not good. But um, oh my god, Lauren, we're so good at scheduling. Um, it's thirty minutes. That was so good. We're Sorry. so good. Yeah. That's not like that. On- I mean, is this a good time for a podcast? I think I think thirty minutes is good. I mean, I think you know, commute. You know, if anyone wants to listen, it's good. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm actually looking at Bridget Jones' baby DVD right in front of me. So, what are you doing this, week, this evening? <laughs> Watching that. that? No, uh, I have loads of video editing to do because I'm a cool kid and I don't, I do video, you know, just all of that. How about you? I'm gonna eat some dinner. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm probably just gonna join the magical world of Witcher again, um, till I sleep, um, and yeah, and fun times. And Try to watch some Twitch on the background, you will enjoy it. I might do, but yeah, that was, yeah. that was good. Over and out, let and us know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Gary, seriously, we need to get good at editing. You can just edit me, be like, oh, done. See ya. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, if you want to leave any comments or anything, and uh, see you again soon. Bye. Bye.